everybody. Thanks for coming by once again. And today we're going to have a look at the Ausen M11, which is one of the brand new dual core tablets uh, running on the Rockchip RK3066 processor, dual core processor. Uh, right now, this is probably the fastest uh, dual core chip going uh, with the Chinese tablets. Uh, fantastic tablet, great speed, and the price is extremely reasonable considering what you're getting. Uh, this is the branded tablet. Um, we do sell an unbranded, unbranded version of the M11, the OEM version, which is a little bit cheaper. However, it doesn't come with a, um, uh, a custom carry case. So really the branded version is the best way to go. The extra $9 you get the, uh, the, the branded uh, logo on the back and you also get the uh, carry case. And let's look at the box that the tablet comes in. This is the Alson M11 box. Just gonna go ahead and open it up for you. And we have a top flap here underneath which the tablet itself is stored. But before we get to that, let's have a look at the accessories that are included. We've got a charger here. Uh, it's a nine volt charger. The, the new rock chip dual core processor runs on nine volts. We've also got a set of earbuds here. Uh, questionable quality. I certainly wouldn't want to use these unless you uh, didn't have any of your own available. And we've got a micro USB to full size male USB. This would be for connecting your tablet to your computer. Um, the tablet itself is here. We've got a few manuals here. Two manuals, in fact. The official one in Chinese. Uh, we've got an English one as well which isn't quite as nice, but uh, definitely goes over all the basics of Android 4 for you. Uh, mentioning Android 4, this is one of the only tablets out there right now that's running on the latest uh, Android 4.0 build, which is 4.0.4. Um, a lot of the other tablets, for instance, the uh, Sine tablets are all running on 4.0.3. Now that won't make a, a difference to uh, the average person, but uh, for some people it does make a big difference. Uh, this is a warranty card, again in Chinese, however, we keep all of your information here at TechToysToGo.com and you are covered by a full one-year warranty on any manufacturing defect, so no need to fill that out. Uh, looking underneath where the tablet is held, we've got the uh, carry case. Uh, this is a, not a generic case, this is actually an Allison case. Let's just open it up to have a quick look. And you can see that there's the Austin logo on the front and opening it up. Uh, it is one of the uh, um, custom cases where you would slide the tablet in and all the holes line up and the ports are accessible. Um, it's nice and soft here with a, a suede. Um, so it's a lot more secure than your regular um, carry case, which maybe just has the clips on the sides to hold it in place. And also it's nice having the, the holes in the right places. Looking at the back here, you can see there is a, a large hole uh, that lines up with the rear facing cam so that you're able to access um, all of the functions of your tablet. Now we'll have a closer look at that with the tablet in just a minute. But first let's put everything off to the side and have a look at the tablet itself. Comes in a nice little Alston bag here. Let's take it out. Now the first thing you notice when you have a look at this tablet is uh, it's quite heavy. It's 680 grams, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, 680 grams. It's got some heft to it, but it's very solid. So there's no there's no feeling like it's gonna flex or, or break in your hand. That's quite thin. And yet, uh, we can hold it right from the edge, and there's you know absolutely no problem with uh, with flexing or anything like that. Uh, one of the unique features about this tablet is it's got a nice uh, silver um, surround on it, an edge, uh, which you don't normally see. You don't typically see on a lot of the tablets. It gives it kind of a higher quality uh, look to it. Looking at the back, you can see there uh, that that silver um, highlight is is also continued on the back with a strip along the, the rear. The color of this tablet is kind of a, an anodized gray, um, quite nice. The other things that you can see on the back are a rear-facing uh, cam, two megapixel, 
for the Austin logo and uh, M11 model number. We've also got two rear-facing speakers here. Now they're 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 located quite far apart, so you've got a good stereo effect here when you're playing uh, music or you're watching videos. It's quite nice to have this. This is not metal; it's plastic, um, but it still feels very firm and, and solid. Let's have a look at the ports. One of the nice things about the Alston tablets in the past, and certainly continued now into the future, is that there's a, a full-size USB located on the tablet. It's nice having the full-size USB port, because you don't need to uh, break out an adapter in order to, uh, to use your full-size USB peripherals. Next to that, we've got a, uh, a mini HDMI port for connecting this tablet up to a, an HDMI TV or external monitor projector. We've got a uh, power port here, this is where you plug your 9 volt charger into, which is included. Again, it's worth noting that no matter where in the world you are, we will include an appropriate charger or an adapter for you. Next to that is a micro USB port. We have got a reset hole here. Uh, in case your tablet freezes up on you, you can go ahead and, and quickly push the reset button to uh, uh, reset your tablet. We've got a TF card slot, which we've got a uh, TF card in right now. This uh, TF card slot is good for expansion and copying files up to 32 gigabytes. This is a uh, SIM card slot. Now, this tablet is not yet available from the factory with internal 3G, but it will be at some point. Um, so, you know, so you can certainly order your, your um, M11 with internal 3G, WCDMA 3G in the future. Uh, this is a headphone jack, standard three and a half millimeters for connecting your headphones or your tablet to an external stereo. And we've got a microphone port here, microphone hole. Inside is a microphone. Looking at the top, we've got uh, three buttons, uh, two regular buttons and a rocker button. Uh, it's worth noting that this rocker button uh, does not have access to the volume controls. Uh, the volume controls are only accessible through the uh, software, which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, we've got a home key here, if you toggle to the right, and we've got an escape key, which uh, returns one screen uh, back to from where you were before by hitting the left side, uh, looking from the front, of course. We have got a power button here, which turns the tablet on and off or brings it in and out of sleep. And next to this, we've got a, uh, an options uh, button. So uh, depending on where you are in the tablet, if you're in a, an application or a certain screen, bringing up, uh, pushing this button will bring up a set of options for that particular app or screen. And as is the case with most tablets, the left side and the bottom are free and clear of any ports or buttons. Okay, so let's uh, pull up the, uh, the main screen here. Before we go any farther, I should uh, also say that there is a front-facing webcam, which is off to the right, as it is with most of the Allison tablets. Um, we've said it before, and we'll say it again. We would have preferred a, a center-facing uh, webcam. Uh, the reason being is that with the side-mounted one, you kind of have to angle the, the tablet off to the left a little bit in order to get your face focused on the screen, which can be a little bit annoying when you're in a web chat or something like that. Okay, so... Um, one thing I should say about the Rockchip dual core processor, uh, it's very fast, very snappy. Some of the things that you may have noticed uh, that was a little bit laggy with Android and some of the other tablets, you will not find that with this tablet. It's very fast. Dual core, um, considered to be the fastest of the dual, co dual cores that are out there right now, and it really shows. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the browser. The browser is one of the things that you... Um, you can probably see a slowdown with a lot of the, the Chinese tablets uh, that are running the, the sorry the single core uh, processors, and uh, yeah, wow. Even though the stock browsers are usually considered a little bit on the slow side anyway, um, this uh, dual core tablet really powers it well. Uh, for instance, you can see here we've got uh, JavaScript on our web page, our homepage. Now, with a lot of the tablets that we, 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 we sell, the single cores, you notice that the, the JavaScript's very, very jerky. And here, it's very smooth. And, and that is due to the dual-core processor getting uh, all the frame rates 
as fast as possible. Pinch to zoom, of course. Just everything is very snappy. Let's go into uh, Flash, a Flash site. Now we're behind the Great Firewall, so we can't go to YouTube. We'll go to the Chinese version called Yoku. You can see Flash is very fast, no drop frames. If we scroll with the Flash playing, it's not jumpy. It sticks to the uh, it sticks to the web page perfectly. It's a lot like browsing on your PC. There's really nothing that would indicate that you're on a uh, uh, an inexpensive Chinese Android tablet. And we can go to full frame too, I believe. We're in a, an ad right here, but yep, there's full screen mode. And again, everything's nice and fast. No slowdown. One of the other things I wanted to show you was the video playback capability of the M11. Uh, we've tested we've tested the uh, the M11 with all the different video codecs that we could find, and we could not stump the processor. It uh, plays back pretty much everything that you can find and download and throw at it. Uh, this is a uh, high def 1080p video. It plays absolutely gorgeous. The screen is uh, is beautiful. The stereo sound coming out the back separated quite nicely. You've got a nice stereoscopic uh, sound. Uh, this particular video, we have some problems playing with some of the other tablets. Uh, the audio has some glitches in it. Uh, this is the first tablet that we've noticed that plays back the audio perfectly without uh, having problems with the audio glitch. So it certainly uh, is probably the best uh, tablet we've uh, ever come across for playing video. Uh, the screen is absolutely gorgeous like I mentioned before, same as uh, the M19 which had a very, very colorful and vibrant uh, LCD screen. Um, let's have a look at the gallery, show you some of the photos that, uh, that it can display. Now it's probably hard with the glare, glare from the uh, screen protector here to really uh, notice how gorgeous this display is, but uh, take our word for it. It's very, very gorgeous. Renders the colors beautifully. It's very snappy. And the uh, slideshow function works excellent as well. Let's see if we can pull that up for you right now. Hit the options button and then the slideshow. The Ken Burns effect with the, uh, the zoom and the fade into another, uh, to the following photo is absolutely um, stunning. There's no there's no slowdowns or drop frames and you certainly won't see that on a single core processor tablet. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you was uh, Angry Birds. Uh, this will give you an idea of the 3D capability of this tablet. Unfortunately, the, the version that comes with this tablet is uh, this the first Angry Birds, which isn't particularly taxing on the, uh, the processor but it will give you an idea of you know, just how smooth the frame rate is. Um, you can see the Angry Bird is, is uh, very quick. There's absolutely no drop frames. There's no um, uh, jerkiness to the play, and it's quite fast. And that is due to the faster GPU of the Rockchip Arcade 3066. It's the four times core Mali 400 MP4. Okay, folks, so there's a quick look at the Alsen M11. Uh, before we uh, go, we want to show you some of the, uh, let's just go ahead and turn this off. I want to show you some of the accessories that you can uh, purchase with your Alsen M11. Uh, first up is a bag. It's a velvet, black velvet bag. Um, it's soft on both the outside and the inside, and it's a perfect fit. We can just go ahead and slide this top of in to show you. Now, it does secure at the end here with a little uh, ball and clip. And uh, very beautiful, very portable, protects the tablet from uh, damage from pretty much all edges except this top edge. Now, if you are worried about that and you want something that protects uh, everywhere, we can go with the neoprene pouch, which is made from the same material as a uh, diving suit, so it is a water resistant. I can certainly take it poolside or uh, out in the rain and not have to worry about it getting wet. It's perfect fit and uh, protects on all four edges as well as front and back. If cases are more your thing, let's have a look at uh, two cases first. Let's look at the custom case that we were describing earlier. 
This one comes with the branded tablet if you're if you don't get the OEM version. Certainly worth the $9 alone just for the case. But of course you also get the branded uh, logo on the back. Fits in like this and you can see the holes are lined up here perfectly for the webcam and on the back we've got the uh, the rear facing cam that lines up with the hole here pretty much. Let's just push it in a bit farther. Yeah, there you go. Okay, lines up. And um, there's a little magnetic clasp here to them actually that uh, hold the, the front flap down so when you're carrying the, uh, the tablet um, the flap's not flapping around on you and you can see that it's got full access here to all the ports on the bottom or on the side I should say and access to the buttons on the top here. So it is a custom case. We've got this little uh, um, addition here on the back that allows us to brand new so it hasn't been used yet okay so it allows us to also turn the carry case into a handy little stand and uh, it's quite sturdy so you're able to uh, you know push fairly hard and not have to worry about it falling over let's have a look at it here for the camera okay that's it here again brand new so it's not broken in yet Closing it up, there it is with the Aston logo on the bottom. Okay, so there's the carry case. Um, and the last thing we want to show you is the keyboard case that you can purchase this tablet with. Now, it is a generic case, so it's got the adjustable flaps here. We've got two flaps at the bottom, two flaps at the bottom, one at the top. So we can adjust the top flap to fit this into place and lock it down. We've got the full-size USB port here, a plug here that plugs into the full-size USB port. So there's no need for an adapter. There is a, um, a kickstand that uh, comes out of the back. Now it is secured with a magnet. So we can go ahead and uh, pull that out. And we've got a, not a full-size keyboard, but we've got a, a fairly, uh, large keyboard here that is uh, makes things a little bit easier when we're typing or surfing the net. It's still quite portable. Let's go ahead and close this for it. Let's, let's close this so that you can see another magnetic clasp here to hold it in place. You can see it is quite portable. A little bit thicker than the uh, just the carry case because we've got that uh, keyboard built into the side but still definitely quite portable. Okay, so there you have it folks, Alsen dual core processor, uh, the RK3066 processor, in fact, the uh, uh, brand new dual core rock chip processor, the fastest of the dual core class right now. We could, uh, we could probably safely say that uh, to date this is the best tablet that we have tested and that we are selling. Certainly can't go wrong, the price is fantastic. and. Um, we can't say anything bad about this tablet. You certainly will not be disappointed if you purchase this tablet. Austin M11, available at techtoys2go.com.